Oil stamping smaller quantities of quick turnaround orders is a fact of life today. In many cases, these are repeat orders with foil embellishments added using stock dies. Under these circumstances, it is critical that operators can quickly and accurately lock up dies on the chase. Presses like the Thermotype NSF Elite, Excel, and Ultra can recall stored paper position and foil draw programs. The combination of accurate, fast, and repeatable die lockup with press setup information that can be recalled from memory ensures an unmatched level of productivity and output quality. While some die manufacturers can provide dies that have been pre-drilled and countersunk to fit NSF presses, some customers need a system that will allow them to modify existing dies. The system shown in this video has been proven over years of use in the field to provide accurate and repeatable results. Customers using this system need to use a drill press to drill and countersink the dies. Do not try to use the system with a hand drill. When preparing dies for multiple color foil stamping, all the image areas must be outlined on a common acetate sheet. Okay, we've set up our chase. We've got our uh, jig alignment pins mounted. These just thread into the 1032 tap holes on the chase. We use our acetate sheet, which has been placed on the chase, so we have the correct gripper margin. And we've laid the die underneath the acetate to make sure that everything is aligned and positioned correctly. Once we have the die positioned correctly with the acetate on the chase, and the alignment pins in position. We take our fixture, which is a piece of Lexan, which has been drilled with the half inch hole pattern like we use on our chase. Okay, once we have the uh, jig in position, we can take a corner inch center punch. We can look down through the holes in the jig and we can find positions on the die where there is no image area on the die. We can position our transfer punch and then take a hammer, hit the transfer punch to make our, our center punches on the die. We transfer this several times on the die, picking up mounting points along the the uh, area of the die and the non-image areas, again, hitting it with a hammer so you get a nice uh, indentation for your center drill. Once you've positioned the die, you've mounted the jig, you've used the center punch to punch the indentations where you're going to drill, you remove the jig. Once the jig has been removed, you can remove the die and set that aside. If you have a multiple color uh, job you're going to be running, you'd leave your acetate on the chase. You'd put in your second die for your second color. You'd line that up with your acetate. You'd put the plate back on and you'd center punch the second die. If you have a three color job, you'd repeat the same process a third time. Once you have all the dies center punched, you're going to take them over to a drill press you're going to drill through the holes, a slight clearance hole for a 1032 screw, and countersink those holes. Once you've got that done, you're going to have one, two, or three dies, depending on what you're going to be running, and all those dies are going to be able to be mounted to the chase without any bunter post or without any toggles. You're going to have a uniform position every time you lock the die down to the chase, and all the dies are going to be in registration to each other and correctly positioned on the chase. It's very fast, it's very accurate, and it really speeds setup.